Sir Alan Gardner was a British Egyptologist working during the first half of the 20th century. He made great strides in our understanding of the Egyptian language. He wrote the lengthy Egyptian Grammar being an introduction to the study of hieroglyphs, a book that is still one of the essentials on the bookshelves of Egyptian language students today. One of the things Gardner did was to sort and group the hieroglyphic signs. He divided them into groups, 26 in total, man and his occupations, woman and her occupations, anthropomorphic deities, parts of the human body, mammals, parts of mammals, birds, parts of birds, amphibious animals, reptiles, fish and parts of fish, invertebrata and lesser animals, trees and plants, sky, earth, water, buildings, parts of buildings, ships and parts of ships, domestic and funerary furniture, temple furniture and sacred emblems, crowns, dress, staves, etc., warfare, hunting, butchery, agriculture, crafts and professions, rope, fibre, baskets, bags, etc., vessels of stone and earthenware, loaves and cakes, writings, games and music, strokes, signs derived from hieratic and geometrical figures, and unclassified. Some of the signs originally unknown have since been identified. However, for the sake of continuity, they've been kept in the unclassified group. This, by the way, is my copy of Gardner's Grammar. It's still got the coloured tabs I put in it when I was at university to divide the groups up, made them much easier to find. Each group was then assigned a letter of the alphabet, and each sign within a group was given a number. So, the kneeling man, or seated man as you may see him called, and as a hieroglyph you'll come across over and over, is the first sign in group A, man and his occupations and is therefore referred to as Gardner's Sign List A1. This is an incredibly useful tool for Egyptologists to use when discussing the language, especially considering some hieroglyphs are almost identical to others. The birds can be a bit of a minefield. For example, the Egyptian vulture and the long-legged buzzard, the cormorant, white-fronted goose, pintail duck and fattened bird, and the fork-tailed swallow and the sparrow. Gardner's sign list is the standard now used in all Egyptian language books and tutorials. Whenever you see a hieroglyphic sign being referenced using a letter and a number, it's Gardner's list they're using. Wikipedia has a very useful set of pages dedicated to Gardner's sign list here. It's also linked at the bottom of the blog post that you can click on.